Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to your reading. What does he say behind your back? I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. And if you would like a personal reading, the link is in the description. Let's get straight into your reading. I see you here. You are meditating now on the three cards. Pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hi, number one. Welcome to your reading. What does he say behind your back when you're not there with his friends, his families, his work partners? What What is he saying about you? I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to the King of Cups. Now, with the King of Cups energy, this is about his emotions, right? He's definitely in his feelings over this relationship. The Cup energy does rule over Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Sensitive, mysterious water energy. I feel like he's saying that you're hiding something from him, that you are keeping secrets oh, with the King of Cups energy. But not only that, on like on the flip side, he says that you are very supportive. You, He feels like you do have a lot of empathy and you are a caring person. So let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the goddess De Pili Determination. Honey, honey, he knows that you're unstoppable. He tells of people like um, he can't control you. He can't tell you anything. You won't listen to him. And you're just determined to do things the way that you want to do them. Right? And that's how it's going to be. Let's get more insight. You have here the sun, the leader. There you go. That's a strong confirmation coming through immediately after the goddess Pili here. And with the sun and the leader, let me point out that the sun rules over Leo. Leo is the only zodiac sign ruled by the sun. So he's definitely saying that like you're stubborn. He can't tell you what to do. You're going to do things your way. But baby, it's just because you are confident, right? You're confident. You're brilliant. And you are purposeful. You do things, you know, with a purpose. Um, you, you are courageous. That is for certain. And you're committed. You know what I'm saying? You're committed to your goals, your dreams. You just want things to work out the way that you see them, you know what I'm saying? And very passionate. And so with the sun coming through here, this is like you are a visionary as well. You have visions, you're creative, you know that you can do certain things. If you're like, hey, if you just get out of my way, leave me alone, I can do this. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What is the energy as it does relay? What is he saying behind your back? The Messiah. With the Messiah energy, this is good because he is saying that although you're very creative, you know, you want things to take place very deeply and you're passionate, he does say that you are humble. You're a very humble person. And so that's really good. And you are charitable. Like you will give your last, you know, you will help other people out. What I am picking up on the other hand, however, what I'm picking up about him is that he has an exaggerated belief that, you know, the only means through which things can succeed is through him. For example, he can be saying things like, oh, the only reason you have this is because of me. The only reason they have that job is because of me. And that's coming through so that you can really be validated here with the fact that you are at the right place at the right time with this reading. This is a part of his personality. So let's get more. I want to be more than friends. So there is someone that he's speaking with about you saying that he wants to be more than friends with you. And um, he feels like this is the way it should be. You guys should be more than friends. You guys have what it takes to grow your relationship into a romantic, deep love partnership. 
He feels like that's something you do have the capability of doing. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So mm, he's saying this as well, that he should wait. He should give you space because you are, of course, of course, resonating here with the goddess Pele. And he should just move out of your way and wait and be patient because you are someone that should not be rushed or told what to do. You have here the Argathens manifesting multidimensional perception and the attunement with the universe and nature. So he definitely is telling, you know, someone that you have high intuition and that you're very spiritual. He speaks of you in this way of like, yeah, she's deep. Like the stuff that she talks about is so deep. Like it goes over my head, but he really has his ear turned towards you, listening very closely to every word that you say. But he is so far from really understanding, but he really wants to. So he does say that you have like, the ability to like tap into like that spiritual realm. You know what I mean? And he really feels like you're able to do whatever you want to do with the manifesting energy coming through here and the power of the sun. And let me point this out to you, number one, that what I am picking up here for you, especially with the sun and the Argathens coming through, that there is material material happiness for you and a joyous outcome when it comes to your success. So keep that in mind as you do move forward. And you have the perfect blend of, you know, wanting things, wanting prosperity and abundance and the Messiah energy because you are so sweet and so humble that the universe just wants to shower you with prosperity, right? So just allow it to take place. Know that you are worthy and deserving. Let's get more insight. And what is the energy as it does relate? Yes, passion. I love passion coming through, especially with the sun, because again, the sun rules over Leo. So again, Leo is significant in the top placements of his chart or yours as a confirmation in the reading. But also Leo leads, leads rules over, it's, it's ruled by the fifth house in astrology. That's the house of creativity, passion, and children. So he says things like you would be like a perfect mother. Children are significant or, or you know, you are a good mother. Um, he is telling people like you have insane chemistry with him and that you like him. You know, he wishes that you would like him the way that he does like you. And, you know, you love to have fun. Having fun with you is the ultimate, the ultimate energy rush. You are a fun person, optimistic, creative, passionate, deep, loving the universe and all of the creations. You are mysterious as well and so tapped into your emotions and empath at heart right? And very down to earth. So he's saying a lot of good things about you. You know, he just doesn't like the fact that he cannot control you. And that's just how it is. He's not meant to control you. But so he's in his feelings when it comes to that part of it. And so beautiful, number one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, leave a comment below. I love reading your comments. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number two. Welcome to your reading. What does he say about you behind your back? I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn to the emperor. And with the emperor energy, let me just say this. 
This is strategic energy. This is the emperor. This is like respect. You know what I'm saying? To so many people, he must speak about you in a respectful way because of the way you carry yourself. So he must speak about you in a respectful way. I'm also picking up like a father figure that he could be, he could have children or he wants to have children or he talks about having children, but I am picking up a father figure. And let's see, what does he say about you behind your back? You have the goddess Emoja, release. Whoa, so with the goddess Emoja and release and with the moon here, this is about emotional, like connection and release intuition, nurturing energy. I can definitely say that um, what I'm picking up is that he's saying that you are really good, like nurturer. You're a good, caring, warm-hearted person. The mother is ruled by the moon. So the mother is significant. I feel like he's saying that like you let go of the relationship. You are the one that let go. You know, that's what I'm picking up. Let's get more. Yeah, the sage, Jupiter, the truth will set you free. And with the planet Jupiter coming through, this is Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is in the top placements of your chart or his as a confirmation in the reading. And with Jupiter, this is, he's definitely saying that you are wise, spiritual, you know, um, like, you are, I feel like he feels like you are definitely a wealth driven person. Like not only you are spiritually wealthy, you know what I'm saying? You have like these really good vibes, self reflective with Jupiter coming through and a truth seeker, a truth seeker, very devoted, expansive, growth oriented, growth mindset um, type person, truthful philosophical and charitable. Quite frankly, there's nothing he can really say bad about you and people believe him, especially people that know you. They will look at him crazy if he says anything other than the truth about you. So let's get more insight. Maybe to strangers he may say something other than what is the truth. There we go. And I am going to go with the pioneer, I mean the guide. Well, I said pioneer, so let's go with this. First thought, this must be more of the truth. I feel like guide is one as well, but we'll go with pioneer. Passionate for doing and creating what has not been done before. That's you, the pioneer. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like on the flip side of that too, he does say like, oh, she does too much. She's doing too much. She's going to burn out. She's going to this, that, blah, blah, blah. But that is so far from the truth. Like you have that temperance energy. You really know how to balance, do things within moderation, self-control. You have that about you. So you're good, okay? Low key, he's just jealous. Let's just call a thing a thing. Right? He's envious that you're able to push forward and get things done. So let's get more insight. What is the energy as it does relate? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Absolutely, he sure does. He sure does. He stays awake thinking about you. I feel like he tells someone else that too. Yep. And what gets me is that he says things like, oh, I worry about her. I just worry about her. But he's not worried about you. Trust me. He's not. He knows you go you're good. He knows that you are emotionally well, your well-being. You're emotionally good. You know what I'm saying? You have a high EQ, a very strong emotional quotient. And that is excellent. But he says, I worry about her because she does too much. She's doing this and now she's taking on this. But you know why he is saying that? Because he's sitting on his bum doing nothing most of the time. 
and he's just jealous. He knows you're good. He knows you take care of yourself. You look good. You feel good. Mm. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so. And the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Mm. Yeah. So, yes, he knows that he has the qualities that you have, that go-getter energy, the optimism, the love, able to release what is no longer serving you, let go, that respectful energy that people admire about you, that wealthy mindset that you have with the planet Jupiter here. This is positivity, abundance, luck, and generosity of the planet Jupiter. He has it. It's in him. Does he express it? Not often. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy as it does relate? What does he say about you behind your back? The grace, the tall. The grace, the tall. Mm, yes, organized intimidating and the thing is you are quite intimidating it's your energy it's big it's tall it's abundant like the planet jupiter but you're only intimidating to people who are not aligned with the greater version of who they are so keep that in mind you step into places people stare they look they look strange at you because they are not aligned with their own self-love, self-assurance, self-respect, and unconditional love for themselves and for the earth, the planet, for everything in existence. But you are. You try to stay aligned as much as possible. And so that's why you are intimidating. So if you wonder, if you go into spaces and you feel like people are naturally just throwing shade or getting jealous, send those people lots of love and white sparkly light because they are just not aligned with who they truly are. Absolutely. One thing he does say is that you are an organized person. You have your ish together. He's like, she has her shit together, man. She really does. You know, and I'm proud of her for that. That's how he talks. Let's get more insight because if he doesn't, he's going to look really silly saying something else. So let's get more. And what does he say behind your back? What are you saying behind your back? Hand of cards. Mm. And with the hand of cards, energy. Yes. This is a clear message that he says that you are going to take a chance. You are. You will take a risk. Being strategic. And he secretly feels like you have options in everything you do when it comes to your career or your romantic suitors. You have options. He feels like you are not showing your hand all the time. But you are a risk taker. And so beautiful number two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, leave a comment below because I love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number three, welcome to your reading. What does he say about you behind your back? I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. If you would like a personal reading, the link is in the description. But let's get straight into your reading here. So I see your energy. You are naturally drawn to the Knight of Cups energy, honey. Ooh, this Knight of Cups, he doesn't want to get up. What the who? What the what? The Knight of Cups, it is water. High vibrational emotional energy. 
water, and emotions. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces seen in the top placements of your chart or his as a confirmation in the reading. Let me just say this. You know, deep down inside, he knows that you are a romantic, right? And he fears that you're going to find someone that's more romantic than he is because he is not the type to wear his heart on his sleeves, right? So just like behind your back, I feel like he's saying, she asked for too much. I am just not like that. I can't give her what she wants. And so let's get more insight. What is the energy as it does relate? What is he saying behind your back? You have the goddess Tara protection. So with the goddess Tara protection coming through, this is a clear message for you. This is from your spirit guides that you are guided, you're loved and protected because I feel like you're going through something quite challenging right now and you're in a state of like, you know, confusion. You don't understand why you have to deal with certain things. Spirit wants you to know that you are going through what you're going through right now because you are learning more about who you are. There's a huge blessing for you, a big glow up coming through for you, right? And what I'm picking up right now is that he feels like he's saying behind your back, like you have your defenses up. You're protecting yourself. But what it is, is you're protecting your mind, your body, and your spirit. You have pulled back your power. You're protecting your energy, as you should. But let's get more insight. What does he say behind your back? The collaborator, the moon. And with the collaborator and the moon coming through, let me point out that the moon does rule over the mother and the mother rules over the zodiac sign of cancer. So there's a sensitive, mysterious energy. He feels like you're hiding something from him. You're hiding a secret, right? But that's not what it's about. You are co-creating with the universe right now. You are on your journey of, of, of like receiving receptive energy, right? He says that you're not listening to him. But yet and still, he does feel like you are a supportive person. You're supporting your friends or you're supporting people that you are close to. That's what he feels. He's in his feelings about that. But he's also saying that you're not supporting him. He does admit that you do have a good heart and you are empathetic and caring, insightful. You are accepting of, you know, him and certain things that he He's about, you do accept him in that way. He also does realize and recognize that you are reliable, right? And also, you are intuitive with the moon coming through here, meaning that he cannot play games with you. He better come true, come correct, or don't come at all. He cannot lie to you, manipulate you. Because you have been downloaded with the greatest intuitive gifts that, yes, maybe some things you have overlooked, but you have always known what's going on with this connection. So let's get more insight. Destroyer, don't play games with you. Do not play you. He thought you were for play, but he was mistaken. Absolutely. Releasing what is potentially destructive, preparing for a new life. That's you letting go, walking away, creating persistent and consistent healthy boundaries, taking care of yourself, your well-being. He knows that that is the truth. But he's going to twist it a little bit and say that you are being stubborn. You have your guards up. So let's get more. I feel like this is the card because I'm so attracted to you. Look at that. He's definitely attracted to you. Honey, 
That's why you're on his mind so much. He's attracted to your beauty, physical beauty, as well as your spiritual beauty. Your nurturing, warmth, kindness, your physical beauty. He feels like everything is in the right place with you. You know what I'm saying? So let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. He's telling people he finds you extremely attractive. But but he says, but I can't get through to her. Oh, yeah, she's pretty. Absolutely, she's pretty. But I can't talk to her. Mm -hmm. mm, this is the one. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. <laughs> I feel like that's what someone is saying back to him. Because he's whining and complaining so much about this connection. And someone is literally saying, baby, you are trying. They're not calling him baby. I feel like it's a guy that's saying, you are trying too hard. Give it time. Give it time. Give it time. Give it time. And he's like, but I want her now. I want her to do what I want her to do now. And they're saying, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen like that. So let's get more. Ooh. Your cards are just all over the place today. Like, this energy is so strong with this individual here. There you go. The Pleiadians. There's that attractiveness. <laughs> Look at this. Confirmation coming through. The Pleiadians. Unconditional love, excitement, and laughter. Yes, this is how he sees you. See, he's obsessed with that goodness of you, right? That high vibrational energy, that love that you have. Yes, you do have unconditional love, but you know where to go. You know to go where you are appreciated and not just tolerated. And so that's why he's fiending right now to have more of that. But see, you have tapped in, baby, to who you truly are. And you're enjoying life right now, the excitement, the laughter. The bliss of your journey is what you are truly aligned with. And that's why you're so protective over your energy. You're like, this shit feels too good right now to go back. It feels too good to turn back into the old me. I'm not going there. So he does speak about, you know, how joyful you are, your uplifting, your optimistic nature, how fun you can be. He does. Let's get more insight. I feel like he does fear a Knight of Cups coming in and just whisking you off your feet and just giving you that dream life that you so deserve. Kisses. Unconditional, loving kisses. Look at the confirmation coming through, especially after the Pleiades directly Coming through after the Pleiadians. Unconditional loving. Giving and receiving affection. Falling in love. And Spirit just gave us that insight that that is something he's thinking about. And he's discussing this with somebody too. He is. He's like saying like, man, I bet she's falling in love with someone. Or is she falling in love with me? It's like a comparative type thing. Like, could you fall in love with him? Will you be falling in love with him? Or will you be falling in love with someone else? Giving and receiving affection. He knows that you can give it, but he doesn't know if he can receive it and give it back to you. That type of thing. Girl... You got this boy sprung with your energy. I'm telling you, he is sprung. No doubt. Extremely attracted. Mm. Connected with the moon here. But you were just so steadfast with the destroyer energy about releasing what is potentially destructive and preparing for a new life. You are so steadfast with that, baby. You are protecting your energy as you should. 
you're on the right path, putting yourself first, aligned with the greatest version of who you are. And naturally, what will come to you will match your frequency. And so beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, leave a comment below because I love reading your comments and they definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.